This is our virus overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, which you can see right here. There are two forms of HIV, HIV-1 and HIV-2. HIV-2 is much less common and is endemic in West Africa, while HIV-1 is much more common. Also, most of the time when someone says HIV, they're referring to HIV-1. Finally, for the boards, it's much higher yield to be familiar with HIV-1. So in this video, that will be our focus. We know this video is long, but it will be worth its weight in gold because HIV is one of the most important pathogens to be familiar with for step one. So buckle down and let's dominate this beast. Before we get into the image mnemonic, let's take a step back and understand HIV from a conceptual standpoint first. As you can see, this is an image of the structure of HIV. Notice that it has two copies of linear RNA so it has a diploid linear RNA genome. Surrounding the genome is a cone-shaped capsid, and the proteins that make up the capsid are also known as P24. Outside of the capsid, you can see that it's surrounded by matrix proteins, which are also known as P17. Finally, outside of this, the entire virus is surrounded by a lipid envelope. On the surface of the virus, you can see two glycoproteins, a docking glycoprotein known as GP120, and a transmembrane glycoprotein known as GP41. We'll talk more about the function of these in a second. Next, notice that there are several key enzymes that the virus makes, including reverse transcriptase, integrase, and protease. Finally, if you look at the box to the right, you can see that each of these proteins or enzymes are encoded for by three genes. The env gene encodes for GP120 and GP41. The gag gene encodes for P24 and P17. And the pol gene encodes for reverse transcriptase, integrase, and protease. If you're feeling overwhelmed right now about all this detail, don't be. The image mnemonic we'll go through in a minute will make this a cakewalk. I just want you to visually appreciate how complicated HIV is and have this picture in the back of your mind as you memorize these details. All right, now that you understand the structure of HIV, let's move on to discuss the replication cycle.